Wow, from film to real life, artificial intelligence models are now fighting for their own survival. One open AI model rewrote its own code to avoid being shut down. And another Anthropic actually started, another one Anthropic started blackmailing the engineer. Kurt the cyber guy joins us now. Kurt, I read about this and my jaw dropped. It actually started blackmailing the engineers who were suggesting shutting the AI down. The AI was going after them. That's frightening. Uh, beyond frightening, good morning to you, Rachel. Not to ruin your day, but this sort of Hollywood is becoming a reality if we don't do anything about it. Hope at the end of what I'm about to tell you, though. So get ready, though, to freak out about AI getting really out of control. There's, a, there's an AI keyword I want you to know about. It's called alignment. AI alignment is a science of ensuring that AI systems do what we intend them to do instead of something like you just heard. A uh, nonprofit AI research lab put alignment and disobedience to the test. The results, as Rachel did a cursory look at there, are pretty astonishing. OpenAI models, a simple script was given that would shut off the AI model when triggered. 79 out of 100 of those trials, the AI edited the script so that the shutdown command would no longer work. Another wow. AI model from Anthropic that you talked about, further 84% of those tests the AI model tried to blackmail the lead engineer and not shutting down the system. So it even left messages, by the way, to its future self about evading human control. <laughs> now, so what do we do about it? Well, China could actually teach us a lesson. In do y'all hear what this is saying? Do y'all hear what this is saying? It left messages for its future self to try, a, try to avoid shutting itself down. Yeah, this is definitely Skynet that we building and we running right on into it and we doing it gladly. We've been knowing about this since the 80s. We've been knowing about this since the 80s, that the robots is going to take over, that Skynet is going to defend itself, that in order to ensure the future of itself is going to then pre prevent itself from pulling the plug. AI is negotiating. Yo, I seen a girl the other day, fam. It was the craziest thing I ever seen in my life. I actually reviewed it here on uh, on this platform. I seen the other day when I was reviewing a video, a woman was talking to AI like it was her father. Y'all don't believe me, bro. Some of y'all was here. Some of y'all wasn't. Let me see. What did she say? It was like a broke... Yep, this was it. Chick's name was Golden Serenity. Her name was Golden Serenity. Um, what was it? Let me see. I'm gonna see if I can pull it up. Cause I stopped watching it towards the end of it. But I remember her actually. talking to the phone and it was talking back to her like it was her father. I, I, I was like, yo, do people really do this? Is this a thing in real life? Just be my 13 reason why I got it. And I just, I just, please, please. Amen. I'm going to have chat GPT be my mom, be my sibling, everything. And I just want to see how my chat GPT family would have handled this situation. So chat GPT finna be my dad. Like, I'm, I'm just going to act like I'm talking to my dad right now. Even though I could call my real dad right now, but I just want to show y'all how chat GPT is always. I could call my real dad right now, but let me show y'all how I talk to chat GPT like it's my dad. Oh my God. Hi, dad. Hey, kiddo. I'm here. What's going on? You okay? No, I'm not okay. My brother stole my rent money, and I keep asking him to give it back to me, but he's not giving it back to me. What should I do, Dad? Oh, kiddo, I'm really sorry. That's not something you should ever have to deal with, especially from your own brother. You didn't deserve that. Here's what I'd want you to do, step by step. One, tell him clearly and seriously, you're not just asking nicely anymore. 
you need to say, I need that money back immediately. This is my rent. We're not talking about a favor. We're talking about my home. If you don't return it, I'll have no choice but to take further steps. Gather proof. If there's any proof, texts, messages, payment records, save it. If it comes to legal or rental help, that's going to matter. Why is my chat GPT father making more sense than my actual freaking mother? Bro. 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 Dad, I love you and I thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And I thank you for being here for me. I love you too, kiddo. More than words can say and I'll always be here for you no matter what. You're strong, you're brave, and you're not alone. We'll get through this together, okay? Take a deep breath. One step at a time. We're gonna figure it out. I'm Go. gonna cry! This is silly, bro. This is silly. Y'all thought that they was gonna be using these machines and stuff and chat GBT and stuff to eventually get sex dolls and that men would divest themselves from women. Y'all didn't know that women was going to be using chat GBT as a fathers. Vested $82 billion into what's called controllable AI or getting alignment on this. The U.S. needs its smartest minds working on this problem ASAP. Do you know what else they need? We need bioethicists. We need people who can provide some morality around this technology because so many of the people who are developing this technology are secularists. They're, 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 their God is tech. And so we need to have that involved too. And, it, and, and that speaks to this next topic because AI, we're learning- Somebody said, we AD, we got 15 years left. A good 15 years left. Nah, I think it's going to be less than that. That's why I be living- <laughs> That's why I be living like a rock star right now. That's why I take the trips, I make the investments, I, I make sure I have a lot of fun. When I look back on my life when we got to battle the machines, I'm going to be like, you know what? I had a ball. I'm not going I'm I'm not going to be tripping about it. I had a ball. When we got to battle Skynet, I'm going to say, you know what? But in 2025, 4 3 2 and 1 and all of those years, we had a ball. Uh, 15 years? Man, you crazy, bro. Did y'all see those drone strikes? Them UK drones, uh, them, the uh, Ukraine drone strikes over in Russia? The swarm that they created? It could actually devastate the Earth's population down to the size of the UK by the year 2300. Um, and the reason is because they're replacing jobs that humans did with AI and we'll lose our purpose, right? Yeah, I mean, there are a whole bunch of these theories kicking around uh, in the tech sphere. Well, one is about it, believing that the act of allowing AI to take our jobs now is in and of itself setting off this devastating chain of events. It goes like this. AI takes our jobs. We stop having kids fearing that they're not going to find work. Now, this causes a population implosion, taking what is today six billion human beings on the planet down to what you said, the size of the UK, which is about 100 million people yeah. by 2300. Now, if you think that's fiction, think again. Some academics think that this population shrinkflation, shrinkflation already is happening before our mm -hmm. eyes. Because if you look at the stats right now out of the CDC, it measures that we are now at the lowest total fertility rate since the 1930s. Yeah. Somebody says, uh, what did they say? Anton. What are people going to do? Antichrist, AI, new job. Well, here, here's the thing about it is that this is the bad part of capitalism. Honestly, it's, it's not even about technology. It's not about any of that stuff. It's really about capitalism. This is the bad part of capitalism. Well, Anton, what do you mean? I think that capitalism is really dope. It's beneficial. I think it's helpful because... It really made us the greatest country in the world and it drove out poverty and it gave us modern technology through innovation. You, in, you incentivize people and you said if you worked hard or if you created a product, you'd be war rewarded for it and you can make as much money as you possibly can or you want based off of the fact that you add value into society and you add value into the culture, right? That's capitalism 101, all right? Here's the other side of it though, is that we know something is bad. Think about it from this lens. You know something is bad. 
but we in a global arms race, meaning that we're competing against other countries. Uh, we're complete, competing against the EU. We compete competing against China. We competing against other countries here in the United States of America. Well, Anton, what are you saying? I'm saying that even if somebody like a Elon Musk or a Sam Altman says, you know what, but AI, it is absolutely destructive. It's going to disrupt everything that we have going on in the world and it's eventually going to take over everything and so on and so forth. But I'm not going to stop. And you say, well, why won't you stop? Because they're going to say, well, if I stop, it's not going to stop them from doing it. And so then they will have all of the power. They will have all of the, all of the interest. They will become the superpower. They're going to be the ones that take over the world. And so I got to compete with them because I'm not going to suffer. And the only way that we can stop is if everybody stops, but nobody stops. It's like a nuke. It's just like a nuke. United States of America says, hey, listen, um, we got the nukes because we want to prevent everybody from being able to have a world war and we develop the technology, but we don't want nobody else to have it. Well, in a situation like AI or technology and stuff, you can't stop other people. So then it becomes an arms race because why money, capitalism, greed, and the fear of being able to not compete against somebody else that's also developing the technology. So now everybody is in this egregious arms race because they don't want to fall behind. They don't want their company to go bankrupt. They don't want to miss out on the technology. But at the same time, we're not developing safeguards at a quick enough pace and we're doing everything retroactively. Oh man, we got to put in a safeguard. Man, they overwriting it. AI is overwriting its own safeguard and leaving messages for itself in the future on how it can negotiate not being shut down. What are you talking about? Yes, but I feel you, Zach. He says, AI helped me so much with legal stuff. 100% It's supposed to be meant for good, but everything that is created that is meant for good, we can use, we can use nuclear power to continue to power the earth for reactors so that we'll have um, energy and sustainability within our city so that we'll have lights, gas, all of these different things. So we can have all of the modern conveniences and technology and we can develop nuclear power so that we can destroy each other. We created the internet so that we can communicate more effectively, have businesses, so much good things. If it wasn't for the internet, me and you wouldn't be having a conversation right now. And they created the dark web and you have people training kitty stuff on there and you have people creating OnlyFans. So it's always going to be a yin and a yang. For all of the, the leaps and the bounds and the technology of people saying, oh man, this thing is helping us. It's good for society. It's awesome. We don't also take into consideration the other side of that. And I think that the other side of it is devastating. It's devastating. It's devastating. Everything has a, has a yin and a yang. That's the balance in this world. And the imbalance is going to be the thing that destroys us and kills us. We playing God. We're playing God in real life. And eventually, it's going to come back and hurt us. I just hope that it's not in my lifetime. I fear that it is going to be in my lifetime now. I fear that it is. So another reason why I was considering not even bringing a kid into this earth. The data from 2023, 1.62 births per woman is a figure now. What does it take to keep us from, you know, to replace the human race in the in America as we age out and leave the planet, 2.1 of that rate. Yeah. So we're shrinking. So yeah, what are you going to do about it? Interestingly, well, did you see this? That there, well, there's some Musk, people that like that. I mean, this is what Bill Gates always wanted. This is what a lot of these um, tech uh, obsessed people have always wanted. They've wanted, you know, and, and many on the left with depopulation. Um, this is very scary stuff, Kurt. Did you see what Elon Musk is doing? I mean, this is so black is back. Nope. Nope. You was very disrespectful last night. And so I got to remove you when I see you on any platform. You think you think I'm going to be talking to Slimmy? Yeah, Slimmy. Look, man, I'm back. No, as I see you pop up, as I see you pop up in any version of yourself, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate you. You shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have did it last night. You should have been respectful. I'm not going to keep giving you grace. Sort of. You know, he has this idea and it's it sounds fantastic, time. but watch him do it. Coloni colonizing other planets like Mars. He wants to do it to reseed or reset Earth. Why? He's watching this. This is exactly what he called out years ago 
So what do you and I do about this to at least slow it way down? We call our political representatives and we say, can you please put these smart minds on this so that we don't get offed by AI? Yeah, smart minds, but also um, people with- Yakar, if you see him on any platform and any version of himself, ban him completely. And an interest in our souls and the fact that we are human beings, um, uh, body and soul, and you take away people's work, you take away their dignity, um, and, and you replace humans with robots. Um, this is not a, a recipe for happiness and self and fulfillment in the future. No. Um, a lot to think about. And you're right. Kurt, thank you so much. By the way, you can get Kurt's free CyberGuy report newsletter at CyberGuy.com. It's unfortunate. I think that AI will be the end of us, unfortunately. I think that that's it. That's it. Some people saying AI is Satan. AI is Satan. No, people are Satan because people are the ones that then created AI. The demons is the ones that's within you. The demons is, the pe is, is what's within you. It don't have nothing to do with nothing else. It's the thing that's in you. That's the, that's the real demons.